Hi, kitty cats. Okay, today uh, we are going to be reading about Lillian Gilbreth. And she's a psychologist and industrial engineer. And she pioneered in ergonomics, time and motion studies in organizational psychology. And she was the first woman in the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. And she reinvented the modern kitchen space. Wow, okay. And we considered our time too valuable to be devoted to actual labor in the home. We were executives, Lillian Gilbreth talking to a group of business women. So let's learn a little bit more about her, right? Lillian Gilbreth was born in 1878 into a big family of nine children. She was always interested in her education and graduated from the University of California, Berkeley with the master's in literature. She met Frank Gilbreth in the middle of completing her PhD. She was intrigued by his obsession with workspace efficiency. She switched her major from literature to psychology and wrote her dissertation. Again, dissertation is a paper that you have to write in your doctoral studies. The Psychology of Management. It was the first study of organizational psychology and how relationships affect us at work. She earned her PhD from Brown University in 1915. Together, Lillian and Frank ran a consulting business. They would study a simple task like brick laying or carrying tools and break the motion down to the most essential steps to make the worker's job easier and quicker. Lillian authored and co-authored with Frank many books about motion and fatigue. Often, only Frank's name would appear on their work because publishers thought a male author would appear more authoritative and credible, even though she was the educated psychologist. When Frank died in 1924, Lillian took sole charge of their company. Many of their clients did not want a woman telling them how to run their factories since they thought the woman belonged in the kitchen. That is what Lillian decided to focus on, homemakers. Back then, it was common for women to spend all day long cooking and cleaning. It was backbreaking and exhausting labor. Lillian wanted to apply ergonomics, and motion studies to help make housewives' domestic jobs easier. She created new tools and new layout for kitchens that cut work time down from an entire day to a few, only a few hours. This gave women all over the country more time to pursue more stimulating interests. Lillian continued to be the president of her firm, working with all sorts of clients. She even helped the United States government create jobs during the Great Depression with the President's Organization for Unemployment Relief. Look around you and you are likely to see something Lillian, Lillian Gilbreth designed to save you time. Whether it is the ergonomic layout of your desk or the work triangle that determines the distance from the sink to the stove, Lillian Gilbert's design have been integrated into our daily lives. She tested out new efficiency techniques on her 12 children. Wow, she has a lot of children. Called movement unit, their Thurblix. Oh, it's a Gilbreth um, spelled backward, invented the foot pedal on the garbage can and shelves in the fridge. Uh, 
She tested her new kitchen system by making strawberry shortcake. She used her knowledge of ergonomics to help handicapped men and women find work. She received many honorary degrees. She was nicknamed the First Lady of Management. So that's Lillian Gilbreth. And she makes our life easier in the kitchen and at workplace. Okay, that's all for now. Have a good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Love you. Mwah.